I'm glad we resolved our issues on the shipping deal. I must confess I was expecting a tedious meeting, but what a pleasant surprise to find myself in the company of a fellow music lover. Oh, I just wish that I had, you know, as much music history as you do. You're like a walking encyclopedia. <laughs> but you, you are the performer. I would love to hear you sing. Yeah, you know, Brooklyn is actually, she's a really great singer, recorded a few songs. Wouldn't be surprised if she's famous someday. Modest as well as lovely. You're a lucky man, Nicholas. I was tempted to try and whisk her away with me to Moon Park next month. Moon Park? Hmm. Moon Park, what's that? What's Moon Park? Moon Park is like the electronic concert of Argentina. It is absolutely insane. I would have loved to show you my country, but as you're taken. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. No, I'm not taken. Nicholas and I, we are, we're strictly business. So. Well, in that case, would you like to have dinner with me tonight? I don't leave town till tomorrow. Perhaps tonight you can introduce me to a club you enjoy. Oh, no, 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 uh, sorry. Brooke and I, we have a previous engagement that we have to do. It's a, uh, sit-down dinner in Manhattan. Yeah, the hostess there, she's, uh, quite fond of Brooklyn, and I promised that I would bring her. Well, you're clearly in demand. Yeah, more than I knew, so... <laughs> I must run. It has been a pleasure. And I hope uh, we get to meet again. Perhaps uh, move on. That sounds fabulous. But, you know, I will be honest with you. Between my gigs and my commitments with Nicholas, I am really busy. I understand. Nicholas, very happy with our deal. Yes, mutually beneficial agreement. Thank you. Quite so. Mm -hmm. And as for you, Brooklyn, I'm always open for renegotiation. Oh, I'm sorry, we have a oh, sit-down dinner and the hostess is just I, fond of Brooklyn. I <laughs> just wanted to give you an owl without offending Roberto. Oh, oh, see, yeah, now I'm glad that we straightened that out, because for a second there I thought, you know, you might be jealous. So Roberto comes to town every uh, every month or so. Does he seem like someone you might want to go out with? I don't know. Maybe I should. I mean, you do a lot of business with them, and you do pay me to help out. So. You know, I pay you to make conversation and be a smart and charming companion in any social situation. No, no, you don't. See, business, not personal, right? Right, right. I mean, we're not emotionally uh, obligated to each other, right? No, which is why I am free to again, free to see whoever I want. That's true. That's yeah. true. But you are not obliged to become involved with anyone you meet through me. Unless I want to. What, you want to go out with Roberto? What? What is the sudden interest in my social life? Where is that coming from? Oh, well, maybe I don't want to lose my most valuable employee. Well, then maybe you better take a look at this. You should be nervous because Roberto was... He was charming. And I'm not going to lie, he was very handsome. You know, I'm just going to give it to you straight. I really like this job. I do. I mean, I love that you do all the work and I just show up in gorgeous clothes and eat food and drink bottles of wine more expensive than my car, but... So you're struggling through it, okay? Doing the best I can. <laughs> okay. Well, since this uh, business dinner was imaginary, mm -hmm. maybe we should go out for real. 